Hello everyone, let's take a look at our next problem. I have the integral from 0 to pi of e to the sine squared x times e to the cos squared x dx is equal to pi e pi e to the pi e to the sine squared pi or e to the pi minus 1. Okay, so this should be really easy to figure out because we in instantly have a trigonometric identity that we can apply in the exponents. This is the integral given as written. Uh, using some rules for exponents, we can write this as e to the sine squared x plus cos squared x. Now we use a trig identity that that exponent is always equal to 1. And so the answer is simply e times pi. e is a constant. The length of the interval is pi. There we go. Not much more to say about this one, and this is one of the available answers, so I'm confident in it. Uh, if I have anything else to say, I'll put it down in the description. Otherwise, thanks for watching.